Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am about to uh, paint three paintings with acrylic paint and I am sharing this with you guys. So I am using the colors white, blue, brown, yellow and red. I'm beginning with a light yellow that it mix in with some white to create this really light effect. Now I'm adding more white because I want this painting to look much uh, more um, gloomy and white as you can see up on there. And we're adding blue. Uh, I'm mixing the blue with the pink to create some sort of purplish color. And I am going down and down. So after this is done, we want to create the reflection of the mountains and everything and the river and the sky um, down to the uh, down part of the paper. So I am now adding more paint by reflection and adding it um, down to the paper. So I am blending these um, colors together using a flat brush because it's much easier to blend stuff using a flat brush. I now added the black um, mountains which is a really simple way. Uh, you could do any kind of mountains. This is my shape and now I'm doing a, another mountain that technically you could do first but I just thought it looked cool so I added it over there and now I'm doing the reflection of this mountain um onto the river and then i did not add the other mountain reflection because i said the the water's murky or whatever and you cannot see the reflection honey <laughs> so yeah and um i redid the sky added more uh, colors and now I'm adding some stars on top on top and the bottom of my sky and now we are removing the tape and everything and yeah so this is how the painting looks like guys how, what do you think about it let's go to the second painting now for the second painting I'm adding my tape and I am adding the blue color that we used in the first painting and I'm going downhills and using more lighter shades of that blue color to make a gradient effect. Now I'm mixing in some brown with some red and yellow to create this really brownish color and um, this is gonna be like some sort of sunset vibe into it as you can see from the picture right. Now that it's dry I'm gonna do another uh, layer to make it a little bit more gloomy and um, whitey. <laughs> so yeah I'm doing that and I'm adding more and more paint um, to create the effects that I want to add for my painting and now after this is dry uh, as you can see I'm doing another layer and another you could do as many as layers as you want to uh, because yeah and now I'm adding some sort of like um, mountain slash sea kind of scenario it could be anything it's like literally ground anything beach even and um, so now I'm adding some palm trees with a really small brush and a black acrylic paint so as I'm doing that, I added the branches, wood first, and then added the leaves on top of it. And I'm really happy with the results. So, yes. And also go for different types and uh, different shapes and different sizes of your palm trees. Because I think that gives your painting more variety. I added some grass down uh, with the black paint. And yes. <laughs> 
So now I'm kind of outlining my moon because I wanted to add a moon. It's between sunset and when the moon comes out and yes. So I added a moon with some white acrylic paint and mixing some black with the white to create a really light shade of grey and then dark some spots of the moon and this is the final result guys. What do you think about it? Please share your comments down below. Now for the third painting, as you can see, there are outline flowers. I'm adding a really peachy, uh, pink, yellow, orange uh, kind of background into it. And I love the way it looks. So now I'm adding the um, shapes and like circles and little like wavy shapes for my flowers. And then we're going to outline leaves. So I'm adding all of the shapes and every single color as you can see and now I'm outlining my um, flowers so yes and uh, the outlines are actually inspired by Katie's canvases I really love her and um, yeah so yes <laughs> And uh, doing the outlines it was really fun. I think the outlines give the painting so much more meaning and beauty. So, yes. At the beginning, when you're doing the shapes, it looks kind of weird. But when you add the outline, everything starts to unravel and everything will start to look cool. So, yes. I add a little um, petals and um, in different sizes and shapes. For example, the petals I'm doing right now are in a circular flower that you're like seeing from upwards, which is like a wavy kind of rose maybe. And these uh, flowers are like growing on a stem and yes. So I added some wavy lines onto the stem, it really looks cool and I love it so much. I added um, other types of flowers, also for the colors I use yellow, green, pink, red, uh, dark green, green mixed with brown, green mixed with um, light yellow, uh, white plus yellow and every other color I will write every single color down below in the uh, comment section so if you're interested you could look down there so now i'm removing the tape and this is the ended uh, painting and i really like it what do you guys think about it um be sure to leave your comments down below about these three paintings i really love the feedback and Subscribe to my channel, like my videos, comment down below everything that you want to, and yes, bye!